our next and probably close to the final new percent thing we're going to talk about is percent increase and percent decrease. Uh, this isn't a whole lot different from what we've done, but it's all about the context of the question. When I say context of the question, that means uh, what the question is about. Before we start on this, I just want to give just a quick review as far as what we've done so far so you can see the similarities and the differences. So far, we've had things like this. We've had situations where you have a certain number out of a total number. So this would be an example, 35 people out of 50 people. And for this one, we would just do 35 out of uh, 50. And if you did 35 out of 50, you would get 70% or 0 0.70, which is 70%. That's one of the things that we have done so far. Um, the other thing that we've done so far is we found percents of numbers. Okay, so for instance, if we need 70% of the 50 people, okay, what we did was we figured out what 70% of the 50 people was by using the fractions that would equal up to 70%. So a lot of you guys would use a 50%, which would be a half, and a 20%, which would be a fifth. Two fifties would equal 100%. Five twenties would equal 100%. So half of 25, or half of 50 people, 50% 50 would be 25 people. And then if I cut uh, 50 people into five pieces, that's going to be 10. So overall, 70% of 50 people is going to be 25 plus 10, which would be 35 people. These two questions right here are just kind of mere opposites. Okay? If we already know the number of people, uh, how many out of, that's going to be one of these types of problems. And if we need the percentage of, uh, they start with a percentage, that's going to be one of these types of problems. Those are the two types we've talked about. Here's the biggest thing that everybody has really struggled with. Not everybody, but um, for a lot of people, when we go through these practice things, you just try to pick out the numbers first. If you try to pick out the numbers first, uh, you may not know what to do or what the situation is, and that's pretty important. The questions aren't always as simple as this. There's usually a lot more to them. Uh, for instance, this one, you could have, well, it's 35 out of 50 people, but you don't really care about the 35 people, you care about the other 15 people that would equal up to 50. Or maybe for this one, uh, it's 70% of the people, uh, but what you want is actually the other 30% of the people. Or maybe it's a tax problem and you have to understand, well, tax, I'm going to have to add that amount on. Uh, or it's a discount, I'm going to have to subtract that off. Anytime we do any types of these problems, please make sure that you are thinking about what is actually being asked of you. I know that you guys can all do these procedures. You can do this procedure. You can do this procedure. But what counts is if you know when to do what uh, in what situations. So please keep that in mind as we're going forward here. Uh, percent increase, decrease. Basically what it is, uh, it's not a whole lot different. They're just kind of worded differently. Uh, we might say, well, what what would what would it be now after a 50% increase? Or what would it be now after a 20% decrease? So always ways to think about this. If you increase something by 100%, that means you're like doubling it. So for instance, if I have the number 20 and I'm going to do 100% more, that's another 20, which should be 40. A lot of people think 100% increase means it's like 50% more for some reason. That's not correct. 100% increase is like being twice as much because you're taking the amount that you started with and then you're upping it by 100%, which would be like upping it by itself. If you have a 100% decrease, uh, that's like you're taking away everything. So for instance, if I started with $25 and I decreased my amount by 100%, well, if I decrease 25 by 25, that means I have nothing left. It's not half. It means I have nothing left. So make sure that these two concepts are kind of things you keep in mind, but I think you'll understand this more as we move forward here. All right, we're going to do two questions together. They're going to try two questions by yourself here. So the situation is, let's say you're working somewhere, and you got paid $16 per hour. 
uh, for some reason you did or you did a really good job at your job and they decided well I'm gonna give you a 50% raise uh, so I wanna know what are you gonna be making now after the 50% raise um, so I'm gonna split this up into two parts here first I wanna know how much the raise is then I wanna know what you're making now so to do this we need to start by thinking up what 50% is okay uh, 50% of 16 so in order to do that uh, I'm going to think, well, 50% is a common one we know, which is going to be a half. That's a half. So if I do 16 and I divide it by 2, that would find me 50%. That's going to be 8. So right here, and it's always good to label these. This right here is your 50% raise. So to answer the question, how much was the raise? Well, the raise is $8 an hour. Okay. Now, the question is, what are you making now? Well, if you started with $16 per hour and you increased that by 50% and the 50% was $8, now you'd be making what you made before plus the 50% and the 50% is $8 for a grand total of $24. Now you are making $24 an hour. So we did basically the same thing that we did before, but we just had to understand that since it's a 50% raise, that's going to be tacked on to the amount that you already started with. Next question. It says, class sizes dropped 40% this year from last year. So a class size, I mean like an average class size that you would see uh, at Grinney Center Schools. Okay, This isn't true, but it's just a question that I came up with here. So class sizes dropped 40%. The average class size was 25 students last year. I want to know what is the class size this year. So last year it was 25 kids. We know that it dropped this much. So we need to figure out what this much is so we can drop it that much to see where we're at now. So we need to do 40% 40, 40 of 25 students. So 40% is going to be a couple of 20s we could probably do. Okay, There's a, there's a lot of ways we could do it. We could do 40% could be 8 Five percents, but I'll just do two twenty percents. I know twenty percent is one fifth and one fifth. Okay, so if I do twenty five divided by twenty five students divided by our one fifth, which is our twenty percent, I get twenty percent is five students. Okay, another twenty percent is going to be the same problem as another five students. So our total would be ten students. This is our 40% decrease. This is how much it dropped. It dropped 40%. So that's our 40% decrease of 10 students. So now the question is, what is the class size in the current year after the 40% decrease? Well, if it was 25 students last year and we need to take off the 40%, the 40% in this case is 10 students, my answer is going to be 15 students. After the 40% decrease, we now have 15 students per class left. All right, I've got two questions for you to take a look at right now. Uh, these questions just uh, are going to cover one is percent increase, one is percent decrease. Uh, again, read through these questions a couple of times uh, to make sense of what you actually need to do. And if you have questions before you start, you can always ask me. It's fine. Um, you can try these by yourself, uh, or you could watch the explanations. It's fine. I'd like you to give it a try, though, to see how you do. I'll read through them real quick. I mean, it's, I think you can read them. But basically what this one is saying is the steroid era saw home runs increase by 220% over the previous 10 years. So steroid era home runs uh, I'm talking about baseball like major league baseball here okay so that means that over the last 10 years home runs have really increased and they've increased by increased by 220 uh, percent and I, I say that if baseball averaged 1500 home runs before the steroid era how much do they average now so basically we're saying that this is what they had before after the steroid era we saw this much of an increase so how much do they average now the other question talks about our school budget uh, we say that if the school budget was $300,000 before, and budgets are really getting slashed these days, if our budget is reduced by 70%, what 
what is the budget now? All right, pause this video, uh, see how you do with these problems.